Welcome to another week here at Tutorial. We are going to fix a few door frames that aren't completely done correctly. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Kathy was wondering last week if we are going to do the electrical ourselves after we finish the plumbing or if we are going to contract that out. Well, we are wanting to do most of that electrical ourselves. The one thing I will definitely have done is we will probably put on each floor a sub panel so you don't have to walk all the way into the basement when a breaker goes out just to connect the sub panel to the main panel. I think I'll have an electrician do that because it's a little bit more um, complicated. We will do the electrical ourselves with that said, but how much help will we get from some contractor? Well, that we'll just have to see depending on what issues we run into. The other reason why I'm not scared of doing the electrical ourselves is we're gonna have an inspector go and look all of it over anyways. So even if we do, if there's something that we're not doing 100% correct, he will probably tell us and then um, we can remedy those things. And one disclaimer, of course, just like with the plumbing, I'm not a professional plumber or electrician. And even if I were, um, make sure to follow the, your own standards. If you're doing something and you're looking at how I'm doing it, probably ch uh, check with your own coding or uh, permitting department of how something needs to be done because even in the United States the standard is not everybody everywhere the same so make sure to look it up and inspectors are really good at being helpful most of the times you can just ask them hey can you come by I have some questions and there's no charge for most of that most of the times so just use their service they obviously want to make sure everything is done correctly and safe so it's kind of their job so I feel like using that service is a no-brainer.
The door frame is down here in the guest bathroom. <clears throat> so one of the changes I made when I replaced the door frame, besides obviously fixing the floor right underneath it, is I moved the door frame a little bit over so we have a little bit more space to the shower. The door can be mounted and everything and I'm not running into the shower right away. And I still have enough space on the right side of the room here when you come in that we can still put a countertop all the way and we still have the full 24 inch depth even after drywall and everything goes on. So we should be fine on here. It's obviously a, bit a cramped room. It's a very small bathroom, but I think it will be just sufficient for a guest room. So the last few weeks just have been a little crazy uh, with changes at work, rearranging our house and everything. There's just so much going on that I don't have a lot of time to spend here at the house. So probably this next and maybe next few weeks are still gonna be a little shorter. So when I got here on Sunday this week, it started raining really hard, which is a nice thing because it starts cooling down the house. Unfortunately, it's a problem to obviously get the cool air from outside inside with uh, the windows are not functioning. So it's still hot in here, but it gave me an opportunity to also check in the attic um, around the roof everywhere if there is any leaks. I found a couple small leaks, but I think the roof repair will remedy that because it's all around ridges and um, where the water just comes together so and they're gonna fix those spots anyways
Now that we fixed all the door frames that weren't installed correctly by the previous owner, we need to fix a couple more projects before we can move on from the framing. So when the, either when the house was built or later when they had this fire, they replaced some of those things and when they ran two of those top plates up there, they didn't do a lot of overlap. So you can tell they're separating right here. There's just too much weight coming down from, the, uh, from above. So we'll have to probably put another header up here to strengthen this whole thing above the arch. Obviously the arch is a weak point, so we want to strengthen that, um, especially if we want to use the attic uh, as a master. The other thing that we need to really fix is in Elias's room, you can tell here the rafters all the floor joists of his loft are all rotten out. So we go into replace all that section, replace the boards, the joists, everything around here. You can see where the old chimney was, a lot of water damage. So we just have to replace that entire ceiling. And I wanted to wait a little bit until the prices of the lumber come back down before I tackle that. Now they seem to start moving, so we'll see maybe in the next few weeks we'll start working on that project. Well, that's it for this time. I hope everybody's gonna have a wonderful week and I will see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.